Now it's time for How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge and their complete line of razor safe, replaceable blade knives. I'm Jeb and for your Outdoor Edge tip of the week, I'm going to take meat from my elk and turn it into tomahawk steaks. We're gonna take it and show the difference between the natural cut and the French cut. All right, so right here, we have back strap attached to a section of ribs. I cut the ribs at the desired length that I about wanted and just took it straight off of it. Now, as you can see, I have to turn this whole big chunk into the tomahawks itself. So I'm gonna start by doing a little cleanup here. Right here is the back strap. Now you can normally just take that straight out and you would come cut along the top edge, the ribs, pull it straight out, come along the top of the spine. All I did here was did the cut along the top of the spine and then I came through with a saw and went straight down that. And like I said, taking the ribs at my desired length, you can make them as long as you want, you can make them as short as you want. With the natural cut, you're going to get different thicknesses because each rib is going to have some different spacing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at it and make a determination of which side you want to keep the rib meat with. So for this one, I'll start here because this side's clean. So I'll come in, work straight down the rib, sometimes when sawing through you might get a little bit of the bone still connected so you can take a smaller knife get in there and work it out so as I'm coming through here I like to go from this side from the inside of the rib cage because I can see where my thickness is going to be and I can clearly see the rib bone Later on, I can come in and take off the edges of these. And then as I come through, I'm trying to make one long, continuous cut, which will leave a nicer looking grain on the steak itself for presentation. So I will come through just as I normally do, letting the rib guide me for the size of the steak, the thickness of it. And now what I'll do to get that French style of cut is I'll just come in and I'll clean up the rib bone. So I'll make a determination here. I want to come Right here, there's a little gap where the main section of the back strap comes and touches the rib. I'll come right down on top of it. Then I will come down along the bone, cleaning it up as I go along. separate piece of rib meat. And you can come in, you can clean it up a little bit more. And now you can see it's a very simple difference of I left the rib meat on versus I cleaned up the bone. And some people just like the presentation of it, kind of looks a little neater. Personally, for myself, 
I like to leave everything attached because it tastes pretty darn good. You get more bang for your buck with it. Either way you do it. Looks impressive. And that's why they call it tomahawk steak.